13 Harsh Truths You Need to Accept to Live a Happy Life Whether you agree or disagree, we have all been ignoring the harsh facts of life for a long time. Even if we are technologically evolved, we are regressing when it comes to discovering the true meaning of life. We have no idea what's going on with us or what our true purpose on this planet is. The truth is painful to hear, but someone has to tell it. Your life is what you make of it, and the only one who can help you is yourself. If you're ready to take personal responsibility and improve your life, I invite you to put these 13 harsh truths into action right now. Understanding these life facts can help you live a better and happier life, or at least one that is better than the one you are currently living. 1. You will not be liked by everyone. It might be very tempting to strive to please everyone. This is an age-old instinct that is as strong today as it was during the reign of the pharaohs, and it is not limited to politicians and salespeople. In general, we want others to like us, so we do all in our power to make that happen, even if it means compromising our happiness in the process. But there are some aspects of yourself that you cannot change, and others will inevitably criticize you for them. It is your responsibility to recognize that they will not be pleased with you. If you can't accept that certain people will never like you, you'll never be able to be at peace with yourself. 2. Nobody is going to fix you. If you're hoping for a knight in shining armor to ride into your life and mend your shattered heart, you'll be waiting a long time. The only person who can assist you is you. Be glad for the other people in your life, but don't grow dependent on them for happiness, unless you want to be on an emotional roller coaster that is out of your control. Are you by yourself? No, far from it. However, no one can fix you, thus it is in your best interest to accept personal responsibility for your own life. When you do this, you will learn that you are far more powerful than you thought previously. 3. You always have a choice. Things don't just happen to us, whether it's at work or in love. Things happen, and we react to them. We take action. We make the decision. You can choose to endure horrible abuse from your partner or boss, or you can dump him or quit. It is always your choice. So if you're upset because you claim that people aren't treating you the way you want to be treated, you don't have my sympathy since you're allowing it to happen. Even if it's as simple as you don't like the text he sends you, do yourself a favor and walk on. 4. You can say no. We've all got a friend or family member that is a real do-gooder and so lovely that they are virtually a doormat. They can never say no to anyone who asks them for a favor, and their schedule fills up quickly despite the fact that they don't want to do any of it. These individuals enjoy whining about all of the demands on their time, but they could have said no, right? Sorry to break it to you, but you can always decline an offer if it isn't a good fit for you. If you always say yes, you'll never be happy. 5. Fear will prevent you from living a full and happy life. There are many things in life that will drive you insane. We're all capable of doing some pretty stupid things, but it doesn't imply that anyone should have to deal with those types of problems on a daily basis. Fear is a powerful motivator, and it's easy to become consumed with your troubles without considering the likelihood that others have it worse. However, how you feel about your own difficulties is just as essential as how you feel about the problems of others. It's easy to feel confined and miserable if you're continually terrified and worried out for no apparent cause. But don't allow fear to prevent you from living life to the fullest, whatever that may be for you. 6. Nothing lasts forever, which is a good thing. Whatever the situation or feeling, there is immense freedom in learning to let go, incorporate the experience into who you are becoming and go on. 7. We can give it our all and still fail, and it's not our fault. We have a tendency to be harsh on ourselves as leaders. When you let go of perfectionism, though, you can accept that you tried your best, regardless of the outcome. Expect the best and hope for the best, and if that doesn't happen, let it go. 8. Many people wish to have your life. You might not enjoy the life you're living right now, but you are fortunate and you should be grateful. You are living in your comfort zone, with an active internet connection, food to eat, TV to watch, and a roof over your head. Remember that even if you simply have these four essentials, you are wealthier than 75% of the world's population. Be grateful for what you have, but don't settle for it. The world is changing at a quick pace, and if you are completely satisfied with what you have now, you will be left behind. Make sure you understand the distinction between greed and asceticism. 9. You're going to die. This is the first and most common of the painful realities. The truth is that you, I, and everyone we know, will die at some point. That's the way it is. But there is something we can do about it. Face it and appreciate the beauty of impermanence. 
As difficult as it is to admit, embracing these unpleasant facts is the only way we will ever be happy. However, when we confront the reality of our own impermanence, as well as the impermanence of everything around us, something interesting happens. We find a deep sense of appreciation and even joy in everything. Even the smallest details we had never noticed before. But don't just accept my word for it. Try meditating about death for yourself and observe how it transforms the way you think about life for the better. 10. Your greatest regret will be that you did not pursue your passion. The top five regrets of the dying, a study first conducted by hospice nurse Bronnie Ware, was a blog post that eventually bloomed into one of the most popular stories in the history of the internet. If you've even glanced at the internet in the last five years, you've undoubtedly heard something about it. So, what was the biggest regret? Which one was mentioned the most by the patients she polled? It was this, I wish I'd had the bravery to live a life true to myself rather than the life that people expected of me. Most of us spend our lives worrying far too much about what others think of us, to the point where we die without having done what we truly loved and wanted to achieve with our lives. So let the dying's words serve as a reminder of a harsh reality. Most of us die regretting that we did not live the life we desired. So get out there and make sure you're not one of them. 11. The one you are waiting for, the one doesn't exist. If you're waiting for Mr. or Miss Wright, I'm sorry to tell you that they're not coming and you don't need them to. To be clear, love exists. A fantastic love that is unbreakable and well worth the wait. However, it is critical not to put your happiness into meeting this person. And it is even more critical not to believe that there is some part of you that someone else can help you complete. You are a whole deserving and amazing human being. You don't need anyone else to tell you that, nor do you need someone else to do or be something in order for you to become that wonderful person. 12. The past has already been written. Have you ever made a colossal mistake and wished you could go back in time and do it all over again? Join the group. It's referred to as being human. I understand you may be filled with regret, but beating yourself up over something you've already done serves no benefit. Ship your focus to the present moment, where you may regain control of your life and move on into a brighter future. 13. Tomorrow isn't promised. Steve Jobs said it best, so I'll submit to him for this harsh truth. The next time you hear yourself saying, I'll do it tomorrow, remember that tomorrow is not promised. Traffic accidents, heart attacks, and violent acts do occur. Live in the present moment and take action now, because that is where progress is made. Well, that's all for today from Brainy Facts. If you think the video is interesting, take a minute to hit like, and also, share it with someone you think needs to hear this. Of course, do not forget to subscribe and turn on notifications if you do not want to miss our next social psychology video from the channel. Thanks for watching.